Okay, so I've managed to lay my hands on a 500 amp carbon pile load tester, as we can see here. Uh, this was actually second hand to myself. Um, so first thing I want to do is just to have a look to see sort of how accurate are these analog gauges before I actually use it effectively. So we can see there that it's showing around 12, uh, sorry, 13.4 bolts yeah the ring is showing 12.6 on the tester so I believe you do get a little bit of adjustment with these little screws right here so we're just going to have a look just to see how much there you go we're dropping down slightly Well, mate, I think that's about as low as that's actually going to go. It's not going any further. So, yeah, what are we on? It's pretty much there. So, that's about as close as we're going to get onto that fella right there. Then, what we need to do is I just need to have a look to see if the amps can be adjusted as well so I've got an amp clamp right here which is zeroed out pretty much and then I'm just going to set the amp clamp so it's showing about 100 amps so that's about 100 there that's over reading so let's see if that all drop down. Here we go. Amp clamp stable at 105 amps. Obviously we've got this thing having a fit now. There we go. That's heated up quite a bit there, so that was probably about 10 amps out of the uh, amp clamp so now that we're pretty much happy with that and um, this is just a little calibration video um, for anyone who just goes out and buys one of these and goes away and, and uses it straight away obviously if this is going to overread and this is going to underread then when you set your obviously amp scale then this is going to be higher than what it is so it will pass a test when in theory it's a failed battery um, if it's the other way around where this is over reading and that's under reading although i can't actually get this to under read um so i think we're pretty much safe on there then you're going to get um slightly skew with results so like i said all i've used I've just used my little ring battery tester here to give me the voltage and I've just used an amp clamp which pretty much just goes around the wire and that measures the current so like I say I don't know if brand spanking you they come with a calibration certificate or instructions on to say that it needs calibrating um, I got this, it was just in a box, no instructions, no nothing, just effectively the tool in a box. So there we go, so yeah, if you've got one of these, um, you might want to check it. You can use a multimeter um, on the posts, but to check the amps, you will need something like uh, an amp clamp or a multimeter in series or something like that. But uh, there we go, there's a little uh, calibration video.